Furioso, Bells, Sepia, Moonbeams, an afternoon sun blanked by rain, and the mountains rising nowhere. The sound returns, the sound and the silence, chime. Hello, I'm Joseph Schwantner, the composer of And the Mountains Rising Nowhere. The work's title was drawn from a poem by the American poet, Carol Adler. While not specifically programmatic, the poem was the creative impetus for the composition and provided a powerful and complex imagery that helped to shape my musical ideas during the course of the work's evolution. The instruments in the ensemble include six flutes, four oboes, two clarinets, and four bassoons, four horns, four trumpets, four trombones, tuba, and a contrabass, as well as the amplified piano. The percussion section consists of six performers who play a large variety of pitched and non-pitched instruments. The mallet percussion instruments include two xylophones, two vibraphones, two glockenspiels, marimba, tubular bells, also known as chimes, a chromatic set of crotales, also known as antique cymbals, a bell tree, and a series of water gongs. These are small gongs that are immersed in a large container of water while being struck. In addition to the mallet instruments, a contrabass bow is sometimes employed and drawn across the edge of gongs, crotales, and the metal bars of the vibraphone, creating high-pitched ringing sonorities. Also numerous cymbals, tom-toms and drums, bass drums and triangles are also a part of the percussionist arsenal. An unusual aspect of the work, at least for the time, is that the musicians are called upon to sing and whistle, creating a choir of celestial voices that further enhance the sonic universe of the work. <laughs> 